hair-raising edition of A Moment of Silence. Ow! Today we're talking about static electricity. So what exactly is static electricity? To understand it, we need to know a little bit about atoms. Let's take a look over here. If you here. look at my board, atoms are made up of three parts. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. And an electron carries with it a negative charge. A proton has a positive charge, and a neutron has a neutral charge. So let's take a look at our makeshift atom over here. If you notice, we have two electrons, two protons, and two neutrons. So we're, we're going to say that this atom is neutral. It has no charge. It has the same number of protons and electrons. Now the important thing to know about an atom, one of its parts can move, the electrons. They can actually move from one atom to another. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, let's focus in on our atom. Let's say this electron jumps from one atom to another. Now look at what we're left with. We now have two protons and one electron. So since the electrons are outnumbered, we're going to say that this atom is now positively charged. So if an atom loses an electron and there's an imbalance, that makes it positive. But what happens instead of losing an electron, if it gains an electron? Another atom gave up its electron to this atom. Well, now you can see there are three electrons and only two protons. This is causing another imbalance, and now this atom is negatively charged. It's this imbalance that, uh, between electrons and protons that causes static electricity. When an atom has either more electrons or more protons than the other, it becomes charged, either negatively charged or positively charged. So how can we illustrate this? Well, let's take our balloon. We're going to take our balloon and we're going to stick it to the wall. Well, that didn't work out too well. Why not? Well, the balloon and the board are both neutral. They have a balance of protons and electrons. So how do we add a charge? Well, we can rub it on our head like this. And now let's try it. And like magic, our balloon is now sticking to the whiteboard. Well, it's not magic, it's science. There's an imbalance of protons and electrons. Now, our balloon is now negatively charged because it has extra electrons, and our whiteboard is neutrally charged. So this proves something very important. A charged object can attract uncharged objects. Let's look at this again. If I take my balloon, and I continue to charge it up to make sure it has plenty of electrons. We'll rub it with this cloth. Let's watch what happens when we bring it close to these pieces of paper, which are neutrally charged. As you can see, the balloon is picking up the little pieces of paper, proving, again, that charged objects can attract uncharged objects. So now we know what happens when you bring a charged object, a negatively charged balloon, near an uncharged object like the whiteboard or some piece of paper. But what happens if they both, two objects, have the same charge? Let's find out. I have my orange balloon here, and we're going to go ahead and charge it up. We're going to rub it with this cloth, which is adding electrons. And we're going to take our balloon that's hanging on the string, and we're going to do the same thing. So now this pink balloon here is negatively charged. And my orange balloon, one more time for good measure, is also negatively charged. So let's see what happens when they come together. And when we let them go, you can see the balloons are actually pushing apart. They're repelling from each other. The negative charge of the orange balloon and the negative charge of the pink balloon are trying to repel. So we've learned our second very important fact about static electricity. Light charges repel. When two negatives are brought together, they want to push away. So now what would happen if we had opposite charges, a positive and a negative? Well, to illustrate that, we need something that's positively charged. And I just have some rolled up pieces of plastic here, and I'm going to put them in between the two balloons. And remember, both balloons are negatively charged. Let's see what happens. Well, as you can see, they're attracted to the positively charged piece of plastic. Both balloons are negatively charged and want to push away. Like charges repel. But opposite charges, positive and negative, they begin to attract. So there's our third important fact that we've learned about static electricity. Opposite charges, positives and hey, hey. Opposite charges, positive and negatives, attract. Like charges repel, and charged objects can pick up uncharged objects.